Amos chapter 4, Judgment on the Women of Samaria. Hear this word, ye keen of Bashan, that are in the mountain of Samaria, which oppress the poor, which crush the needy, which say to their masters, Bring and let us drink. The Lord God has sworn by his holiness, that lo, the day shall come upon you, that he will take you away with hooks, and your posterity with fish hooks. And you shall go out at the breaches, every cow at that which is before her. And you shall cast them into the palace, saith the Lord. Come to Bethel and transgress. At Gilgal, multiply transgression and bring your sacrifices every morning and your tithes after three years. And offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving with leaven and proclaim and publish the free offerings. For this liketh you, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord God, the chastening of the Lord. And I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities, and want of bread in all your places. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. And also I have withholden the rain from you, when there were yet three months to the harvest. And I caused it to rain upon one city, and caused it not to rain upon another city. One piece was rained upon, and the piece whereupon it rained not withered. So two or three cities wandered unto one city to drink water, but they were not satisfied. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have smitten you with blasting and mildew. When your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increased, the palmer worm devoured them. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword, and have taken away your horses, and have made the stink of your camps to come up unto your nostrils, Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and ye were as a firebrand plucked out of the burning. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Prepare to meet your God. Therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto you, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. For lo, he that formeth the mountains and createth the wind, and declareth unto man what is his thought, that maketh the morning darkness, and treadeth upon the high places of the earth. The Lord, the God of hosts, is his name. A Lamentation for Israel Chapter 5 Hear ye this word which I take up against you, even a lamentation, O house of Israel. The virgin of Israel is fallen, she shall no more rise, she is forsaken upon her land, there is none to raise her up. But thus saith the Lord God, The city that went out by a thousand shall leave an hundred, and that which went forth by an hundred shall leave ten to the house of Israel. Seek the Lord and live, for thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel. Seek ye me, and ye shall live, but seek not Bethel, nor enter into Gilgal, and pass not to Beersheba, for Gilgal shall surely go into captivity, and Bethel shall come to naught. Seek the Lord, and you shall live, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph, and devour it, and there be none to quench it in Bethel. You, ye who turn judgment to wormwood, and leave off righteousness in the earth, seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the day dark with night, that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name, that strengtheneth the spoiled against the strong, so that the spoiled shall come against the fortress. They hate him that rebuked in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. For as much, therefore, as your treading is upon the poor, and ye take from him burdens of wheat, 
Ye have built houses of hewn stone, but ye shall not dwell in them. Ye have planted pleasant vineyards, but ye shall not drink wine of them. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins. They afflict the just, they take a bribe, and they turn aside the poor in the gate from their right. Therefore the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate the evil and love the good, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. God will pass in judgment. Therefore the Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord, saith thus, Wailing shall be in all streets. And they shall say in all the highways, Alas, alas! And they shall call the husbandman to mourning, and such as a skilful of lamentation, to wailing. And in all vineyards shall be wailing. But I will pass through thee, saith the Lord. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into the house, and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness, and not light, even very dark, and no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy viols, but let judgment run down as water, and righteousness as a mighty stream. Have ye offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years, O house of Israel? For you have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Chian your images, the star of your God, which you made to yourselves. Therefore will I cause you to go into captivity. Beyond Damascus, saith the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. At ease in Zion, chapter 6. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion, and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations, to whom the house of Israel came. Pass ye unto Kauna and see, and from thence go ye to Hamath the great. Then go down to Gath of the Philistines. To obey, be they better than these king doms, or their border greater than your borders. Ye that put away the evil day and cause the seed of violence to come near, that lie upon beds of ivory and stretch themselves upon their couches, and eat the lambs out of the flock and the calves out, out of the midst of the stall, that chant to the sound of the viol and invent to themselves instruments of music like David, that drink wine in bowls and anoint themselves with the chief ointments, that they are not grieved, but they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Therefore now shall they go captive with the first that go captive, and the banquet of them that stretch themselves shall be removed. The Lord God hath sworn by himself, saith the Lord, the God of hosts, I abhor the excellency of Jacob, and hate his palaces. Therefore will I deliver up the city with all that is therein. And it shall come to pass, if there remain ten men in one house, that they shall die. And a man's uncle shall take him up, and he that burneth him to bring out the bones out of the house, and shall say unto him, that is by the sides of the house, Is there any yet with thee? And he shall say, No. Then shall he say, Hold thy tongue, for me we may not make mention of the name of the Lord. For behold, the Lord commandeth, and he will smite the great house with breaches, and the little house with clefts. Shall horses run upon the rock? Will one plough there with oxen? For ye have turned judgment into gore and hemlock, Ye which rejoice in a thing of naught, which say, Have we not taken to us horns by our own strength? But behold, I will raise up against you a nation, O house of Israel, say the Lord God of hosts, 
and they shall afflict you from the entering in of Hamath unto the river of the wilderness.